Welcome to Bethany, where we're leading people to experience God's love, know Jesus Christ, and grow in his image. My name's Thomas. I'm one of the pastors at Bethany. Thank you for joining us for this online midweek worship service today. Uh, I'm glad that you're here, and I hope this is a good time for you to connect with God and be uh, in a place of worship. Um, As we get started, I'll remind you to check our website. You can register your attendance with us so we know who's participating in this worship service. You can uh, submit a prayer request online if you'd like to be prayed for. We want to pray for you. Uh, You can give online also to support the mission and ministry of Bethany that continues to happen. Um, And and you can find other ways to stay connected. We have a number of uh, different groups and things happening both in person and online. So I would encourage you to to find a way to stay connected. Uh, Worship is good. Having a small group, a Sunday school class, another way to stay connected is, is also so good. And so as we get started worshiping together... Let us pray. Lord, we bring our whole selves to you right now. And we ask that you would come and you would fill this space that we're in. You would come and you would fill our lives and that you would stir our hearts to focus on you and to worship you, Lord. Come, And be with us, let us experience your presence in this place. And we pray that you would minister to our hearts, minister to our lives in the ways that we need you the most. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is from Romans chapter 15, verses 5 and 6, and we are going to do a Lectio Divina. It's a a spiritual reading of this text. Uh, I will read it three different times, and each time I will pose a question. The hope is that we could hear from God, that God would speak through his word into our lives. So I invite you to, to make yourself comfortable right now. Um, Get in a place where you can focus, and you may want to close your eyes uh, as you hear the scripture read, and so that you can meditate, or you you might want to keep your eyes open and read it with me, um, and then spend some time meditating on the scripture. So as we read it this first time, I invite you just to pay attention to whatever word or phrase most stands out to you. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus, so that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Focus in on whatever word or phrase most stood out to you in that reading. As 
as I read this a second time, I invite you to focus on that word or phrase and to ask God, what are you saying to me in this word or phrase today? May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus, so that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is God saying to you through that word or phrase? As we read this passage a third time, I invite you to continue to focus on that word or phrase and to ask God, how are you calling me to respond to your word? May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus so that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. How is God calling you to respond to his word today? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. During this next song, it will be a time of prayer. And so if if you would like to share a prayer request and uh, offer that up so that we can pray for you and others worshiping with with this worship service can pray for you, uh, I invite you during the next song to, to put that prayer request in the comments of the video. And that way it will be there for others to see and to pray for uh, when, they, when they are using this video and worshiping. So I invite you now to be in a place of prayer and worship as we sing this next song. Let us pray. God.
God, as we draw near to you, we are grateful to be in your presence. We are thankful that you are a God that can draw near to us, that allows us to get close, that cares for our every need, that understands what we are going through, that fills us with the true life that is found in Jesus, that you give us a real hope. You continue to love us no matter what. Come and hear the prayers that are lifted up today, God. I ask that you would come and answer, to respond to these prayers that, that people are lifting up to you. We know that you know what we need even before we ask it. And so we pray, God, come and give us what we need. Come and provide for uh, even our most urgent requests. We put our confidence and our hope in you, Lord Jesus. God, I pray that you would be with our church and especially with those in this worship service that as we continue to move through uh, these weeks and months that you would continue to be with everyone and that you would continue to remind people that you are with them as they live out their lives in the world. Lord, as things open back up more and more, I pray that you would guide us into the right opportunities for friendship and relationship with others. God, we pray that you would help those who are struggling to be comfortable with being around people again. And God, we give you thanks that, that there is an opportunity for that. And we pray that you would come into the Bethany family, you would strengthen our community with one another and that you would continue to let us find good community with you, Lord Jesus. We lift up all of the prayers that were offered to you today, and we pray for those with the words that Jesus, our Savior, taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
I want to thank you for joining us for this time of worship today. I hope it was a good time for you to encounter God and to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, as you go from this place, uh, my hope for you is that you would continue to worship and to live your life for Jesus wherever you go, that you would be able to love and bless people with the love and the blessing that God has given us. So go now in the love of God the Father, go in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and go in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen.